And so what you're seeing today is different interventions around removing solid waste in the river, uh, but not just removing it and recycling it, uh, but also finding artful ways to repurpose it. Part of this project, which is in Casa, is around scaling up uh, nature-based solutions for climate resilience. As the World Resources Institute, we also work with the local partners such as Alexandra Water Warriors, uh, uh, Water for the Future, that work on environmental protection. We mainly focus on flooding and heat. So within flooding, we're looking at what are the local solutions that communities, particularly those that live along the River Rhine corridor and are affected by flooding, how can they protect the river in order for the water to flow so that they're protected. And so a big part of it is removing the waste that's building up on the banks of the river, limiting the flow and the water and the water capacity to move through. Today we are uh, launching the litter traps, which is like our first litter traps was funded by a local uh, company. But then now we have the project called Sunkasa, which is like it's a Canadian Global Affairs funding initiative. So in South Africa, our activities include like your debris management, your tree planting, uh, your alien uh, invasive plant removal, and also the litter trap installation. Our first litter trap was installed in uh, 2003, and then since then it was under research and development. Till today, whereby the city, the province, and the international community, they have adopted like our little trade. Then with Alexander Otawaras, it's a very neutral uh, organization. We have plus minus 3,000 volunteers. And then our workplace is Eske River. We have recycling stations again, whereby when we recover uh, the waste, we take it to our rec uh, recycling station. And the residual, the recyclable materials that are not actually recyclable, we take them to the landfill site.